Hello, I've got with me Councillor Martin Terry, who's written our political viewpoint article for the latest edition of the Lee Times. Uh, Councillor Terry is South End Council's Cabinet Member for Public Protection. Hello, Martin. Hello um, there, how are you? Not too bad at all, thank you. Um, you've written quite a scathing political viewpoint article this time. Um, not happy with your... Uh, conservative colleagues do you want to talk to me a little uh, bit about that I, I do yes we've had uh, two two years we've been in, a, in administration they've been very very uncooperative uncooperative and very negative and indeed that that extended further into the recent elections it isn't just in south end um, the local government association noted that uh, across the country the conservative party seems to be very aggressive but in South End, I think it's particularly bad. Um, there were lots of things said that were completely and utterly untrue, scaremongering about uh, we're going to build 7,000 houses on Bournes Green, Greenbelt and things like this. Frankly, uh, um, just unacceptable standards. And of course, prior to the election, there was a, a hearing of the council's own standards board, of which the Conservatives have now said, we're not even going to take part in the standards board process anymore because they're saying it's a show trial so when legitimate items of, items of concern related to Nolan standards come up, they're not even prepared to take part. What would the implications of that be? Well, the that could be it, that that's going to be looked at looked at nationally. I mean, we're seeing this sadly um, as an independent. I, I'm not particularly keen on any party politics, um, but we're seeing the standards. I think you know a lot of it's the. The, the whole atmosphere with Trump and with, we've seen this this week with, with um, um, God, I can't think of his name. My brain's gone dead. The guy Cummings, that's attacking Boris. Hancock. Uh, Dominic Cummings. We're seeing lots of things going on. I'm afraid that that's seems to be filtering through even locally, all the conspiracies, the false statements and the allegations. It, it's just horrible. And, and frankly, we had such a bad time with them over the past two years and during this election that you know, one minute you're getting stabbed in the face and then all of a sudden they want us to work with them and it's virtually impossible to do that. So how, how how's it going to be going forward? I mean, they are not we will they remain, are opposition. They are the opposition. One of the key the key errors they've made is they, they, are, they want absolutism. So the independents, Lib Dems and Labour we're working together in a genuine rainbow coalition, a joint administration where all of us have senior councillors in the cabinet. But when we're making decisions, it's the views of three separate groups. The, cons the Tories, Conservatives, insisted that if we went with them, we would have no representation whatsoever, no meaningful representation. In fact, all they said was, oh, you can make comments on our policies. Well, that is not how I want we want to work. We don't think that's reflective of the democratic process. Um, so we would expect at the very minimum to have members in their cabinet so that we could actually share in the proper decision making process and assessing how policies policy is constructed. So it's the it's the sheer arrogance of saying, well, we want your support, but we're not going to give you any any anything whatsoever. And presumably, um the fact that they're not represented in any of these committees and, and the cabinet, that's a loss as well, isn't it? Um, yes, yes, it is. You mean a loss to them? Well, no, a, we, a we, loss to we South would, End. It is, yeah. I mean, in an ideal world, we would like to, we, I will, I'll openly say, I'll work with any anyone, including the Conservatives, but it's got to be done on, on the right basis. And there are some like Councillor Lamb, who I praised in the article. Mm. There are some still some decent Conservatives around who've got, you know, they, they operate to good standards in public life. But I'm afraid the current leadership of the South and Conservatives has, has gone into the gutter almost. It, it's absolutely dreadful. I'm not the only one who would say that. You can ask many people, they feel the same about the attitude and the, the uh, narratives they're using. It's just horrible. I'm not anti-Conservative. I'm anti the current leadership at South End. And I've told Labour, we've told Labour, that we happily work with the Conservatives. One of the sad things about party politics, of course, where it overrides democracy, is that both the Labour and Conservatives more or less won't get in bed together. 
in a perfect world, I would love all the groups to work together sensibly in a mature way for the good of South End. But so the current arrangement we've got, at least we've got three groups working together, which we think is positive in a joint leadership and a joint administration. Hmm. And going back over the last two years, the, has there been a lot of cooperation? Has that worked well, would you say? Very well. We've, we've, we've delivered a lot. We've delivered um, the new South End Pass, which will enable us to spend £10 million a year upgrading our pavements and footways and highways, which a lot of residents have complained about the condition of footways, lots of older people have been having accidents and so on. Um, we've got a lot of, we've got the Queen, massive Queensway housing development coming on. There's other things coming on, uh, such as Roots Hall, we've worked that through the system. So the new housing at Fawcett's Farm, um, we've declared a climate emergency, which is becoming increasingly important. There's lots more to come on that regarding climate change and what we need to do as a town to address that issue, because we all, we need to think about climate in every single action we take now, every policy we make, uh, every policy decision. So uh, yeah, uh, we will, this year is going to be a year of delivery, but also that would particularly interest people in Lee. We've, we've now agreed the, the, the new CCTV contract that's been let. So there's 2.2 million pounds upgrade and investment in CCTV, which will include Lee Old Town and Lee Library Gardens and other other hotspots around the town where we've had trouble. You praised um, uh, Councillor John Lamb, Conservative. You finish off by uh, publicly thanking Councillor Trevor Harp uh, for yes. the way he's handled things with the pandemic. What what's he done that's uh, so that you would is well, so praiseworthy? He basically had the he was the lead councillor in in the cabinet on regarding the the COVID. He was at the health portfolio, health and social care. So he was at the forefront of, of dealing with you know tying together with uh, the, the director of public health. I was also a part of that. We set up a co it was called the COVID outbreak control board which we still have running although it's not meeting as frequently now so at the height of the pandemic there were literally meetings twice a week to look at what we're doing and how we're handling the situation we had a lot of challenges last year when things were loosened and uh, we were fearful of being overwhelmed and having lots of visitors come into south end one of the, the big, unique challenges well not unique but unique amongst a few towns um south end has can have up to 7 million visitors a year so when you're dealing in a pandemic scenario and the government's saying all oh, right you can go somewhere now all those things had to be dealt with and we had to manage it and then there was the vaccine rollout and testing facilities we are very lucky a trevor harp saw us through that but also we've got a fantastic director of public health as well at south End. we're ever so lucky to have uh, krishna ran on is Absolutely brilliant. Drawing to the end, you uh, you talk about uh, a year of rebuilding our economy and delivery. We're not out of the woods, but you're going to do all that you can. What does that entail? Well, we're looking at uh, you know how we're going to reimagine shopping centres. So Lee, South End, Thorpe Bay, Shoebury. We've got to look at how we can revitalise the economy. We we can't control it. All we can do is facilitate the right situation and help to try and boost the economy to create jobs. So obviously South End is opening again now, so we hopefully will get a, a boost from tourism. Um, this will be a, a staycation year, because really looking at the chaos in international travel is simply not gonna happen. Uh, so we hope we will benefit from that, but do it safely. Um, and we, we did invest, we purchased the Victoria Shopping Centre back, back end of last year. We're looking at that, uh, what we can do with that. I mean, you know, the councils don't run commercial shopping centres. So we're, we're very focused on making sure that's run efficiently. But also there's a number of empty units in there, uh, which I personally would like to see used for uh, as a to facilitate uh, business premises for local entrepreneurs, perhaps younger people who've got a business idea, maybe making artisan chocolates or whatever it may be, foodstuffs, to help people get back into employment. Because another thing we are noticing from local businesses is that people are going more local now. So there is an opportunity there. Um, we want, we've got big investments going in, the, in the, uh, the, the airport business park as well. So we need to create the, the circumstances, and we're very mindful about that, of uh, getting regeneration going. Brilliant. Well, I think we've covered quite a bit of the, um, of the article that you wrote. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? 
No, except that I'm very optimistic about the future. I think the, the joint administration has worked well. It's delivered, uh, despite what people may read on political literature. Uh, it's very stable and it's got some very capable people in it. I'm not blowing my own trumpet. I'm, I'm all, I am optimistic and I, I'm very much uh, O South and the independents tend to be that way. I think all the local councillors are effectively. Um, I'm very positive about the future. We have to have a half full glass approach to what's coming on the road and get on with it and make the most of it. As, as you're saying that, the, uh, you start the article um, saying that national issues had a big impact on the recent elections. I know we've got another election coming up next year which um, could potentially change things. What, what are your thoughts with those two? We are very aware, particularly as independents, that when you have what's called a combined election, so when you have a general election and it coincides with a local election, it always has a, a very disproportionate effect. So I've seen very, very good councillors being picked out because they've been overwhelmed by either a blue vote or a red vote. So uh, next year will, will not be like that. Next year will be a purely local election. So hopefully we'll be back to normal. This year was definitely, there hadn't been an election for two years. A lot of people seem to be voting uh, on, on big issues. There was a vaccine, we've analysed the figures. There was a vaccine bounce without doubt. So turnout was up because there hadn't been an election for two years. And much of that turnout went to the Conservatives because they felt the government had done a good job with the vaccine rollout. And I, I agree with that. I think they've, you know, we've done a great job as a, as a nation with vaccine rollout. Um, next year will be a different scenario. I think we'll be in a different place. Um, taxes will be going up and people will probably be moaning a bit more. So we'll see, see what happens. Um, I, I just wish people in these elections would just focus on South End. You know, yeah, when you, you know, whoever you vote for nationally, that's fine. That's not of interest to me. What is of interest to me is how Southend is managed. And I, I, I think having a, a joint administration with the brains of three different groups working together rather than one group and one ideology is far better. I mean, as an independent, I don't do right or left, I do right or wrong. So I think if it's something that's right for Southend, that's what I will back, irrespective of what where that sits on the, on the political kaleidoscope, if you like. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate your time there and uh, thank you for writing the article too. Thanks, bye.